Back up at the um, engine bay again here. Um, you can see we're installing the uh, shelf kind of a thing in here where the charging system will be going in. Uh, it's just a piece of 2 mil steel that's been professionally um, folded to shape for me here. Uh, try and get a better view of that. Just needs to be drilled down into the uh, into the frame rails of the car there on both sides. And under that will be sitting the front batteries um, between two and four Odyssey PC twenty one fifties will be in the in there under that. And we see the. Uh, this is the uh, charger for the 12 volt accessory battery up here that powers the normal 12 volt systems in the car. This is a very um, high quality Victron Energy 12 volt 15 amp um, three stage charger. And um, it's got a multi voltage input on it here. Now, the benefit of that for me will be that uh, when I have enough batteries installed in the car this guy will double up as a DC to DC converter that will uh, essentially charge the accessory battery from both the mains power when it's available and from the DC traction pack um, should this uh, should this battery become heavily discharged such as driving at night or something such as that and um, I wanted to just say a special a special thank you to to um, Mr. Jim Tracy at JTM Power for his kind help with uh, with the with uh, getting this charger and the uh, BMV battery um, monitoring system that we have installed and uh, for his continuing help with this project. Uh, it's good to see these days a company that uh, is willing to help uh, with something such as this instead of just telling me I'm insane. Uh, so this is the other part of the uh, BMV system. This is the shunt. Uh, it, goes, it goes into the battery ground and uh, it takes a battery positive signal here and it comes out of here then with this standard um, RJ, RJ45 terminal here and that's going uh, back inside the car um, into the BMV itself there that's in the pod on the dash. So it's a very handy setup, uh, it's just a single, ca a single cable here and it um, as I say, when I have it uh, properly set up with the uh, with the charger, it'll provide a lot of uh, very of very important information. Um, so what I'm doing now at present is just uh, just getting this uh, 12 volt charger physically installed here, and to get to, to get all these cables hooked up. You can see it's a pretty good fit there. Um, so that guy will be. <clears throat> bolted in there fairly soon and uh, I'll just come around to the back of the car here I've got all the junk emptied um, out of the out of the boot area and I've stripped out uh, I've stripped out all of this tool tray and spare wheel junk uh, out of here so I'm just kind of just kind of assessing the boot area with a view to installing the rear batteries. I'm still uh, I'm still between two lines as to whether I'm going to just uh, install them in here or to install some of them under the car as I had as I had previously planned so I think for the first tests uh, I'll just probably simply sit them in here and just just attach them on to those cargo straps there with a couple of uh, tie downs just for purely testing purposes and then I'll try to make a decision based on um, on the kind of best fit uh, for all so yeah it's pretty good so far starting to see um, 
starting to get to a point where I'll be able to drive the thing so that's the main aim of the game so far. Alright folks, that's it for now.